If you have a great memory, that's great. Still, you need to keep lists. No, really, like you do too much to keep it all. This video is about keeping an audition log. Every time you go on an audition, you should have a set of notes that you take afterwards to keep you sharp, keep you knowing who you went into the room with and for, and also, no matter if you're auditioning a lot or a little bit, you should be keeping track of your auditions. If you're doing it like a good actor, as soon as you walk out the room, you forget everything. And we wanna make sure you have the notes that you need to make sure you are getting better as the time goes on. Remember, don't be discouraged, be informed. Okay, so audition log, what is that? You know, I didn't know what an audition log was until my career coach, Ethan Paulini, introduced it to me. Now, I always knew that I needed to keep a log of all of the things that I was doing because my memory is terrible. But I didn't know that it was an actual thing that everyone kept track of. So I'm going to give you the questions that you should be asking yourself after you walk out of the audition that you should be keeping track of. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to tell you the best way to keep track of all these questions because we're organized here at Giselle's Artistry. Yeah, we are. First question you wanna ask yourself is, when did it happen? At the end of the year or at the end of the month, you wanna be able to look back and see how many auditions you had over a given period of time. And if you put the date, well, we're on the right track. Next is where, where did this audition happen? That's important because once you start auditioning a lot, you'll get used to the different places that you're going in to audition for. You'll know the color of the back wall so you don't dress the same color as the wall. That's always awkward, yeah? So keeping track of these things are helpful. Oh, and if it's not aware, then you wanna put self-tape. Ask yourself, what about the audition you enjoyed? We wanna be operating from a place of gratitude, and if that's the first thing you ask yourself, it will look at the situation in a more positive light. What did you enjoy? Even if you walked in and your face planted the floor, not really, it was just a really bad audition, Find the moment that you felt good about. Maybe it was your slate. Maybe it was how you exit the room. Write it down, celebrate one thing that you did. And it could just be that you went. You also wanna write down what it was for. What was the audition for? Was it a television audition? Was it a commercial audition? Have you auditioned for the same TV show four times and they still haven't hired you? <sighs> Also write down what role it was for, um, the character type, so you can start to see how people are seeing you and what they're calling you in the room for. Because if you're constantly called into the room for a nerd, well then, you're doing great at that. Other things, not so much. Keep note of who was in the room. This is the thing that makes us feel really awkward. We don't wanna call anybody by the wrong name. We don't wanna to have to ask anyone their name, assuming that we're supposed to know it, but it's important. And you need to get used to knowing who it is that you're going in front of. A lot of the auditions will have on the sign-in table when you come to the audition who's in the room. If they don't, that's a great place to ask. So you don't have to go into the room asking the casting director, uh, what's your name? Because you should definitely already know who you're going into audition for. But usually, not necessarily the casting person is in the room when you're auditioning. It might be an associate casting director. Also, it might be a whole crew of people because it might be like the callback. What did you wear? That sounds silly. It's important to know what you wore because one, if it's a callback, you need to wear the same thing. And if you have memory like this, you've already forgotten what it is by the time the next week rolls around. So you wanna write down what you wore. But also, if you got a callback, you know that your outfit probably was a good choice. So that's an outfit that you wanna use again and again and again. And yes, outfits matter. Write down any feedback. What feedback did you get from the casting director, even if it was like, okay, that was great. Can you do it one more time for us? Do it a little bit faster. Or, mm, could you just be a little bit more conversational? Whatever it is that they say to you in the room, write it down. Because that's a note that you know you wanna take the next time you go in for that person. Or you wanna be aware of it at least. Okay, this last one depends on the age. But I think it's helpful nonetheless. Give yourself 
a letter grade. What do you think your grade was for that audition? Maybe you did amazing, so you gave yourself an A. Maybe you didn't do so well, so you gave yourself a C. Now, you wanna take into account the day you've had, what's been going on, the week you've had. So if you gave an audition that was like pretty terrible on a week that's already been hard for you, then maybe you give yourself a B because you tried the hardest that you could in that moment. This is great for kids because it gives them an opportunity to assess their entire world, what's going on, and not just how people are judging them in the room. To take that a step further, you can always pick a high point and a low point of the audition. I like to call it a glow and a grow, right? So what's one thing that was amazing? You did so good, it was a glow, right? I was so confident when I walked in there and I said my slate, I introduced myself and I said a joke really quickly and it made everyone laugh, it was really cute. That was a glow. Maybe in that same audition you stumbled over this one sentence that kept messing you up over and over and over again and that was your grow. So picking a glow and a grow every time you go in the room is very helpful. So those are all of the things that you wanna write down when you have an audition. Now, here's my piece of advice to you parents. When a kid comes out of an audition, there are so many things that are going on in their head. If you have a system like this, you can leave them alone and let them process. Some kids like to talk to you about it, some kids do not and you really need to feel out what your child wants, ask them questions about what they want, and give them what they want and what they need. Having this feedback is gonna be helpful for you. The best way I think to do it is to create a little Google form on Google and have the student fill out all of that information right after it's done. That way, you come out, you pass them the phone, they fill it on out. If they wanna share something with you verbally, they can, but if not, they can walk away and they don't have to talk about it anymore. A lot of parenting young actors is managing expectations and managing feelings. And after an audition, you can come out with a kid that's on top of the world or the complete opposite. So this gives you an opportunity to get the information that you need as a parent, so you know what they need to do better on, you know what they need to work on, but also gives them the space that they need as a creative. All right guys, I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you start creating your audition logs. If you have an audition that you recently went to, comment below your glow and your grow. I want to know how you're doing in your auditions. Thank you so much for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. And as always, wishing you love, light, and all that jazz. Bye.